All right, today we're talking about the book Peak by Anders Ericsson and Robert Poole. Anders Ericsson has been conducting research on why certain people achieved the highest possible results in their fields and became experts, masters, or whatever we call them. So they've been studying chess, they were studying memory competitions, they've been studying violinists, and basically they came to the conclusion that one of the most important things that those experts and masters shared was the type of practice they've been using in order to achieve their greatness. They were debunking the myth of 10,000 hours needs to be spent in order to become a master in something, which is not necessarily true, and more of a falsely interpreted research that Anders Ericsson made uh, before, when he conducted the research on the violinist, and that the greatest one actually before they started were studying in conservatory, spent 10,000 hours uh, practicing. All right, so Anders Ericsson has been studying a set of people who became a masters in their field, and one of the main things that they found out that most of them were following a certain kind of deliberate practice that allowed them to achieve a higher result. Pretty much deliberate practice is not about the repeating the same thing all over again, no matter how many times, but anytime you're trying to struggle with something, you're trying to heighten your level every now and then in order to become better at certain fields, especially yours. That is why they were given certain advice that people need to follow in order to become greater in pretty much anything, even though they may not be having so-called talent from the very beginning. Anders argues that anyone without so-called innate talent can still achieve really high results by deliberately practicing their craft. So the parts of the deliberate practice would be that you should give um, instant feedback from your coach or uh, from whatever exercise you've been doing, you need to try to analyze your mistakes and trying to find better ways in order to omit them. And of course, at any given time, you should continue on increasing the difficulty of the anything that you've been practicing for. Otherwise, you're most likely gonna stuck at a certain level which you already managed to achieve. 